Hey you guys, how are you all going? I'm back with another video. This time it is on Grounded, a game that has just come out in the game preview. You can get this on PC through the Microsoft Store, Steam, or you can play it on Xbox. It is cross-platform. Now, while it is still in development, it is insanely fun. And there are some glitches that have come along with this. And I have discovered these glitches through some people who have told me. Uh, they've obviously gathered them off other YouTube videos unless they've found it themselves. When I'm editing this video, I will add in the original creators or the original founders of these exploits or glitches because I did not find them myself. Although I have made use of them, I have tested them, and I have found ways to uh, protect yourself from other glitches and things going wrong, which I will detail in the video. Now in this video, I will be covering two duplication glitches. So the first glitch I will be going over is how you can duplicate any stackable item, things like sap, clover leaves, anything you can carry in your inventory that stacks up, you can duplicate it infinitely. Both of these glitches that I will explain will have little drawbacks. So make sure you stay and watch the entire explanation so that you can avoid the little annoyances that come along with these glitches when you don't do them entirely correctly with the first glitch there is a way you can accidentally make an item that stays in your inventory forever and cannot be dropped or deleted you don't want that to happen because then you have an item in your inventory that you cannot get rid of and then that space is gone and I have had this happen with an entire inventory full of items and you definitely don't want that to happen so make sure you pay attention and if you do it correctly the way I tell you you will have no issues and everything will be entirely safe now the second glitch I'm going over is how you can duplicate any any weapon or tool in the game so you will see me get the mint mallet which is probably I think the best weapon in the entire game you will see me get the mints from that duplicate those mints because they are a stackable item and then I will show you how you can duplicate the mallet itself now I don't want to waste too much of your time please make sure if you enjoy this subscribe hit that notification bell I will be making more uploads like this in the future so if you want guides and duplication glitches and all this type of stuff more in the future especially Especially for new games coming out this year because we've got a lot of games to look forward to please make sure you leave a like and subscribe also if you have any questions comment down below if I know the answer to the question I will be 100% sure to answer it and if I don't know it hopefully someone else watching might know the answer so leave the comments down below and let's just get straight into the video Alrighty, now if you want to find out where you can get your hands on this mint mallet, you'll need the mint pieces. So here we are right in front of the house at the starting area. You're going to look to the right after facing the house and you will see this white container right next to the middle area. This is where the mints are. Now this part that I'm hitting right here will be closed. You just need to hit it to open it and there in front of you, you can see the mints. Now you do need a level two hammer to smash these open. That is the only difficult part about this once you have your hands on that hammer when you hit the mints you will get some mint pieces now obviously you can collect all of the mint pieces but if you are doing the duplication glitch you only need two so you can leave the rest in here maybe for the future because I'm pretty sure these do not respawn so if you collect them all and you somehow use them up or they disappear you will not get any ever again so I recommend just grabbing two pieces and then getting out of there all right so now that I'm back in my house or base I'm going to put away all my items and really quickly check what we need to make this up. So there we go, we need some spider silk and some flower petals. So they will be the three things that I do duplicate. So here I have some spider silk. That isn't enough to duplicate because I need at least two. Here we go, we have a stack of nine. That will be what I duplicate. And these are the petals I will be duplicating as well. So I'm going to do it in this can just so things don't go everywhere. But basically you're gonna follow me. So what you're going to do is drop your stack on the ground. Now, as you can see, I drop the stack and then pick one of the items up. And what happens is when I pick it up, it thinks I have another stack. So as you can see, these are multiplying. I drop a stack of 10, pick one up, and it thinks I picked 10 up. And I'm going to keep doing it and it will keep multiplying, as you can see. Now to save this, all you're going to do is save the game, you're going to quit and reload, and basically when you load back in, it thinks that each of those items is an entire stack. If you don't do the save in process thing, you can ruin things by picking them up and then the game 
sort of combines all of the pieces back into the one pile and that's where glitchy things could happen and things could go wrong. So as you can see, I have not sped this up. I am loading straight back into my save file. I will load straight at that save right inside the can in front of all of those pieces and I can pick them all up and they will go straight to my inventory and all will be good. And there we are, I've loaded in and there are so many pieces in front of me. These are all stacks of 10 or whatever how many I had in the stack, I don't remember. But this is more than I will ever need. Now when picking these up, you have to make sure you don't accidentally pick up more than your inventory could hold. So it doesn't stop you and actually allows you to pick up 80 piles, even if you only have 30 piles of space, if that makes sense. So you have 30 slots, it actually lets you pick up more than that because it's glitched, obviously. And if you do pick up more than you're meant to, than your character is meant to hold, that is where the items will become glitched and they will remain in your inventory, uh, unable to put in a chest, unable to move, unable to drop. So as you can see, I'm going to do the exact same thing with this spider silk. I'm going to drop it, I'm going to press E or whatever it would be on console to pick up the spider silk and it thinks that I'm picking back up 10 and it is just constantly multiplying. So as you can see, I think I probably made a little bit more than I should have, but it's fine because if I don't have enough storage space, I can just simply pick them up and then delete the entire stack of them just to get rid of them, or I can leave them on the floor for later. That's completely up to you, completely up to me. It does, doesn't really affect anything, but just make sure if you're going to do anything, just save. It usually fixes all the glitches, except for that one where the items can't be moved out of your inventory. Saving does not fix that issue. If you encounter that issue, I will show you how to fix that in a bit. All right, so now I'm here picking up the spider silk again, and I'm going to purposely overfill the limit. And when I go to put this in one of my chests, you're going to see what happens. Okay, so I found the best way is to just drag it in. That way it doesn't confuse the game. And as you can see here, these ones are the glitched ones. So as I try to drag it in, it teleports back into my inventory. You'll see it again in a second. There you go, so two at the top just teleported straight back into my inventory and they will stay there forever, see, as they keep teleporting back. Now if I exit out and go back in, they will still have teleported back and there is absolutely nothing you can do to get these out of your inventory. You cannot drop them, you cannot delete them, nothing works. So the best way to do it is to simply kill yourself. So as you can see, I'm killing myself on my own spike defense. You can just jump off something if your health is low enough, it doesn't really matter. But then you're just going to give up if you're in the multiplayer, if you're in single player, you should just respawn. Once you've respawned, you're going to go grab your bag. Obviously, you don't want that bag to be there forever with glitched items. But thankfully, once you've killed yourself and these items go into that bag, they aren't glitched anymore. So you can collect these, you can put them in uh, with your chest, you can get rid of them, you can do whatever you want, but they are no longer glitched. And that is how you fix the issue if it occurs. So to simply not... Uh, encounter the issue just make sure not to overfill on your items but that is basically the extent of this duplication glitch there are some other funky things i'm not going to go over that i have encountered but if you just do everything the way i've uh, told you and i've showed you you will not encounter any other issues and if you do simply reloading a save or dying and picking up your items will fix any bugs that uh, you may encounter. Now originally I did discover a dumbed down version of this glitch, one that basically implemented the save feature to save these duplicated items. Now the person that discovered this, I will link them down below. I'll put their name on screen now. So credit goes to them, check them out, leave a comment on their video and tell them that I sent you. It's good to give attention and support to some of these people who might wanna become creators like myself and don't get the attention they deserve. All right, so I got all the materials. I just finished duplicating all of them and I'm going to create my first mint mallet. Now real quick, look at these stats on the right. It is crazy. So I'm gonna make it, there we go. So we have one mint mallet. Now, obviously, I could just duplicate the resources and make multiple of them, but I want to show you the second duplication, and that is how you can duplicate tools. All right, so it's the only thing I have in my inventory now, and I'm back in the can, and all I'm going to do to duplicate it is throw it. Now, just before I release the button to throw, I'm going to open my hot pouch, and the mallet will 
still be here. If you look at my hands, I do not have it because I've thrown it across the can, but I can re-equip it. So now I have one in my hands and you can see one over there at the end of the can. If you look at my hotbar down the bottom, I do not actually have it. It is invisible as if it is empty, but I still have it in my hand. Now, if you're wanting to keep this, you will have to do another step because if I were to equip something else, it would disappear and I wouldn't have it anymore. So to make sure that this is duplicated and to keep the duplicated version as well, you're just simply going to have to throw it again. Now, obviously it's not in the pouch anymore, but that's fine because once you throw it, it becomes a separate object. There you go. So there are two on the ground and I've basically duplicated it. Now you can do this as many times as you want to make as many versions of the tool as you like. The only thing you have to pay attention to is you cannot have both in your inventory at any time. If you have two that are duplicated versions of each other and you put them in the same inventory space, so your inventory or a chest, they will fuse back to one. So the game recognizes them as the same object and they'll be fused back into the same object if they're in the same inventory space but you can put them in separate chests separate inventories pick them up once at a time or your friend can pick it up so as you saw they just fused back together when i picked it up so i'm just going to duplicate it again there we go i have the two i can pick them up one at a time i can take this one throw it over there pick this one up and there we go so they both definitely able to be used, they're able to be picked up. You can store both of them, but as you can see, they both fuse together just then. So you can duplicate a tool this easily whenever you like. So I'm gonna throw that one. I can run and put this one in a chest. Oh, and I've forgotten to duplicate this one properly. Just gonna throw it real quick. There we go, it has duplicated. I can chuck this in the chest. It will stay there and it will not fuse unless I put the other mallet in the same chest as it. So I've duplicated that one. My friend can use that you know, or any of my friends can use that if any of them join the world, which they probably will, which is really awesome because they don't have to use resources to create another one. Although that is still not a problem because of the duplication. But here you can see proof that both of them do exist. I can just not put them in the same inventory. So if I put them in my backpack or both in the chest, they will fuse back to one which isn't that much of an issue because you can duplicate them. But if this gets patched and you have duplicated items, you need to be wary of that. And that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you do make use of this before they inevitably patch this insanely quick. It'll probably be gone very soon. They are very onto these patches and improving this game with the updates. It's very, very good. I'm looking forward to all the new content coming out soon. If you want to watch me play this game with a buddy or two, you can come over to my Twitch where I will be streaming games like this hopefully very often in the next couple weeks make sure you go and show some support to the original founders of these two glitches and again make use of it before it's gone so i hope to see you in another video and until then please stay safe out there i'll catch you later peace